Chapter 1171, Changing Owners Creek The thick stone door was slowly pushed open and it was accompanied by the sound of grinding stones. An ancient and musky smell, which was accumulated after being locked away for a long time, came pouncing forth. In that instant, one felt as though one had returned to the ancient times. Behind the stone door was complete darkness and there was no light. That darkness caused one's heart to shudder. Behind them, many powerful individuals were staring at those stone doors with burning desire in their eyes. However, that burning desire involuntarily disappeared after their eyes drifted towards the black figure standing in front of the palace, with a black blade in his hand. After which, disappointment and unhappiness replaced it. They were only a couple of thousand feet away from the devouring divine palace and given their speed, they could easily cover this distance in the blink of an eye. However, this short distance felt like an endlessly long gully. Even someone as powerful as Kun Yuan had to sacrifice one of his arms in order to stop the sky-devouring corpse for a moment. Although someone at his level could regrow their limbs, this was still quite a severe injury. Big brother, we will be waiting for you outside. Little Flame cried out loud. Lin Dong nodded towards them. Then, he took a glance at Zhu Feng and the silver-haired lady called Kun Ling. Without further hesitation, he took the lead and walked through the door. Zhu Feng and Kun Ling hesitated upon seeing this. After which, they opened their strides and entered as well. At this juncture, they had to give it a go regardless of how dangerous it might be. Bang! The thick and heavy stone doors suddenly slammed shut after the three of them entered the palace. Dust slowly rose and those on the outside were no longer able to see what was going on. Looks like we can only wait and see. When little Martin saw the tightly shut stone doors, he helplessly shook his head. It was indeed a difficult feat to enter the devouring divine palace. Haha, <laughs> since young brother Lin Dong possesses the devouring ancestral symbol, he should stand a good chance of obtaining the inheritance of the devouring master. First elder Zhu Li used a voice which only the few of them could hear, before he said. That lucky brat! Lu Qing curled his lips before he directly sat down. His demeanor was a casual and suave one. Since he had no affinity with the devouring master's inheritance, he decided to forget about it. The crowd beside him also smiled before they sat down. Many people standing in the sky helplessly shook their heads. However, they did not leave. Instead. They waited here with unwillingness in their hearts, as they wanted to see if there was still an opportunity. The atmosphere on the lonely mountain peak became a quiet one. Meanwhile, there seemed to be black chi gradually seeping over from the distant horizon. A gentle breeze blew over before the black chi disappeared mysteriously. Hey! First Elder Zhu Li suddenly opened his tightly shut eyes. He frowned as he looked afar. Meanwhile, there was some doubt in his eyes. After which, he shook his head before he once again shut his eyes. After stepping past the stone doors, the darkness was just like floodwaters as they drowned their sight. However, Lin Dong could still hear two faint breaths behind him. Clearly, Zhu Feng and Kun Ling were following closely behind. Why is there nothing? Lin Dong once again took a few steps carefully. As per usual, this place was completely dark and no light appeared. This caused him to involuntarily furrow his brows. A glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. Mental energy scattered after a thought passed through his mind. Then, he attempted to use this to probe his surroundings. Hey! However, Lin Dong's mental energy had only just begun to spread when his expression suddenly changed. That was because he realized that they were actually disappearing a little at a time. In fact, it felt as though they were being devoured by something hidden within the darkness. Hey! A low exclamation suddenly sounded from behind. It was Kun Ling's voice. Meanwhile, her voice was also filled with surprise. Has she realized it as well? Lin Dong quietly said in his heart. Just like him. It seems like Kun Ling had also attempted to probe with her mental energy, only to discover that her mental energy was devoured in a peculiar fashion. 
Both of you young fellows should back away. Let me take control of this place. Zhu Feng's icy voice suddenly sounded, while this thought flashed across Lin Dong's mind. Lin Dong frowned but he ignored Zhu Feng. However, Kun Ling pressed her brows together upon hearing this. Her voice was cold as she said, Elder Zhu Feng, you are a top reincarnation stage expert. I think that this inheritance should be of little use to you, am I right? Why don't you turn around and return to the path that belongs to you? Kun Ling's voice was cold. However, the ridicule in her tone was startling obvious. This caused Lin Dong to smile and he felt quite joyous. Little lass, it is not your place to lecture me. Zhu Feng's icy cold furious voice sounded. Promptly, he waved his sleeve before a bright light suddenly erupted. Then, it ruthlessly swept towards the right corner of the darkness. You! Hidden within the darkness, Kun Ling cried out furiously after she saw that Zhu Feng had actually disregarded his status and attacked her. Her delicate body flew backwards before majestic mental energy swept forth and transformed into a silver lotus. Bang! A bright pillar ruthlessly smashed against the silver-white flower. Subsequently, a frightening assault wave was emitted. After which, Zhu Feng remained still while Kun Ling released a faint groan. Zhu Feng was ultimately a top-tier reincarnation stage expert. If it was not because he was in this shattered space, Kun Ling would never be able to hold a candle to him. Nonetheless, even though his strength was suppressed, Zhu Feng was still extremely powerful. Hence, Kun Ling was naturally no match for him in a head-on confrontation. That old fellow really has no regards for his reputation. Lin Dong involuntarily cursed secretly after he realized what was going on. Zhu Feng was much more senior than Kun Ling. Yet, he still attacked her. That was indeed shameful of him. Little fellow, you too. Stop right now. While Lin Dong secretly cursed in his heart, Zhu Feng's cold cry was transmitted from behind. Following which, a sharp and majestic Yuan power followed his cry. Old fellow, despite your age, you are more like a dog. Lin Dong's expression completely turned icy cold after he saw that this old fellow actually dared to attack him. He moved and pulled back, before he dodged the attack. Then, a cold merciless laughter was emitted from his lips. Had. A soft chuckle from a lady seemed to sound in the darkness a short distance away. Her delicate laughter contained some joy. Brat, you are courting death. Zhu Feng's face became dark and gloomy. He stared venomously at Lin Dong before he said, Do not think that there is nothing I can do to you just because the Dragon Tribe and Celestial Demon Martin Tribe are backing you. Why don't you come and give it a try? Lin Dong chuckled. As long as this old fellow could not use the strength that exclusively belongs to a reincarnation stage expert, Lin Dong had no reason to fear him. Humph! A cold glint was flowing within Zhu Feng's eyes. He let out a cold snort before his body shot forward in a ghost-like fashion. His hands were just like the claws of an eagle. Sharp brilliant light gathered and there seemed to be a vague reincarnation ripple within. It seems like Grand Elder Zhu Feng was actually planning to kill him. Bloody old dog! Lin Dong gritted his teeth. A thought passed through his mind before silver-white mental energy came whistling forward like floodwaters. Meanwhile, lightning crackled within the mental energy. Then, they transformed into a thunderbolt, before it roared and ruthlessly smashed towards Zhu Feng. Boom! However, that elder Zhu Feng did not retreat. Instead, he extended his hand before he directly crushed that lightning dragon. Swoosh! After the lightning dragon exploded, lightning crackled before a scepter containing a lightning arc shot forward. Then, it ruthlessly targeted Zhu Feng's throat in a tricky angle. Clang! Zhu Feng chuckled. He flicked his finger and directly jabbed the tip of the lightning emperor scepter. Immediately, dazzling light surged and stopped Lin Dong's attack from advancing. Little fellow, you are quite capable. Your Yuan power might be hardly noteworthy, but your mental energy is truly impressive. However, I'm afraid that you are still unable to stop me. 
Zhu Feng said. Swoosh swoosh. However, right after Zhu Feng spoke, he detected sharp winds sweeping over from his back. He let out a cold snort before he flung his sleeve. Then, he turned around and clenched his fist, before dazzling bright light transformed into a shield. Bang bang! Many silver-white lotus petals ruthlessly collided onto the bright light shield. However, they failed to break it. Nevertheless, this caused Zhu Feng to be distracted and Lin Dong took this opportunity to retreat. At the same time, he glanced at the darkness a short distance away. The one who had attacked previously was obviously the silver-haired lady called Kun Ling. It seems like she was quite intelligent. Currently, only the three of them were here. Hence, if Lin Dong was killed by Zhu Feng, it was likely that she would not be able to escape. After all, in a one-on-one -on -one fight, neither of them were Zhu Feng's match. As such, she did not wish for Lin Dong to be killed by the latter. You two younglings, do you really think that the both of you can match up to me if you cooperate? Zhu Feng narrowed his eyes. Even in the darkness, it was still possible to imagine how dark and gloomy his face must be. However, Zhu Feng's expression suddenly changed just as his gloomy self was about to attack. After which, he no longer dared to move. His strange action also caused Lin Dong to be momentarily stunned. He was just about to speak when Yan's grave voice suddenly sounded in his heart, Be careful, the Yuan power and mental energy in your body has vanished. What? Lin Dong was greatly startled when he heard these words. Then, a thought passed through his mind before he realized that the Yuan power in his body as well as the mental energy in his Nguyen palace have disappeared out of the blue. What's going on? Anxiety flashed across Lin Dong's eyes. If he lost his mental energy and Yuan power in a situation like this, it was likely that Zhu Feng would be able to slaughter him with a single strike. There is no need to worry. It is the same for all of them. Once you enter this place, your strength will be gradually devoured. Yan said. What should I do? Once my strength is completely devoured, then Lin Dong asked in a deep voice. Yan descended into silence. Previously, he had tried to stop Lin Dong's Yuan power and mental energy from vanishing. However, it was to no avail. Lin Dong frowned tightly while various thoughts flashed across his mind. A moment later, he clenched his teeth and sat down, this darned palace is devouring all my strength. Hence, I must devour all of them back. A thought passed through Lin Dong's mind after he sat down. Then, the devouring ancestral symbol in his body began to vibrate rapidly. In fact, if one was to look at Lin Dong now, one would realize that there were many black tattoos spreading across his skin. Meanwhile, devouring power spread from him buzz. As Lin Dong circulated his devouring power, he was surprised when he realized that the energy scattered within the darkness, was actually slowly flowing back into his body. Although the speed at which the energy surged into his body was much slower compared to the outside world, it still brought joy to Lin Dong. At the very least, he now had the strength to protect himself. That old dog doesn't possess the devouring ancestral symbol. Hence, he cannot regain his strength in a place like this and his strength shall gradually disappear. Just wait and see how I will deal with him once the Yuan power in his body vanishes. Lin Dong glanced at a certain spot in the darkness before he gritted his teeth. Meanwhile, a fierce glint flashed across his eyes. Hey? Something's amiss. Lin Dong's expression suddenly changed as this thought flashed across his mind. That was because he realized that there was another stream of devouring power appearing amidst this darkness. Meanwhile, that power was fighting with him for what little energy was present here. How is this possible? This discovery caused Lin Dong's mind to tremble violently. Other than him, there was actually someone else in this world who possessed devouring power. Chapter 1172, Essence Blood Inheritance What is going on? Seated within the darkness, Lin Dong's expression changed rapidly. Devouring power was something unique to the devouring ancestral symbol and the symbol was sitting obediently within his body. However, 
another stream of devouring power had suddenly popped out. Hence, what was going on? Moreover, Lin Dong sensed that the other stream of devouring power was behaving intelligently. Clearly, that stream of devouring power was not a passive object. Rather, it was being controlled by someone. There are only the three of us here. Moreover, there are no ripples at where Zhu Feng is located. Hence, that devouring power does not belong to him. The expression in Lin Dong's eyes was changing rapidly. A moment later, he slowly turned towards another part of the darkness and it was where Kun Ling was located. Since that devouring power did not belong to Zhu Feng, there was only one answer left. That devouring power originated from Kun Ling. This thought lingered continuously in Lin Dong's mind. It was a long while later before he managed to gradually suppress the shock in his heart. Furthermore, he knew that now was not the time to be thinking about this. There was hardly any energy here and if he wanted sufficient energy to protect himself, he would have to hurry. Lin Dong quickly refocused his mind when he thought of this. Following which, devouring power erupted from within his body. At this moment, his body seemed to have turned into a black hole as overbearing power spread from him and sucked the surrounding energy in a domineering fashion. Hey! While Lin Dong was forcefully sucking the surrounding energy, a faint exclamation was suddenly emitted at a short distance away. That delicate voice was also filled with shock. Clearly, she had also discovered that competing stream of devouring power. A long silence followed the exclamation and no one knew what she was thinking. However, soon after, she increasing her rate of absorption. Clearly, she wanted to compete with Lin Dong for the energy here and she had no intentions of giving in. Tisk. Lin Dong curled his lips after he detected her actions. Although the both of them had cooperated for a moment previously, it was obvious that they had once again became competitors. Due to the unique environment, Zhu Feng, who posed a great threat previously, had ended up becoming inconsequential. Instead, the two of them were now each other's greatest competitor. I do not know why you possess devouring power, but how dare you try to compete with me in terms of devourment when I possess the genuine devouring ancestral symbol. Lin Dong quietly said in his heart. Soon after, a thought passed through his mind. Then, a circular black hole directly appeared behind him. That black hole rotated before the surrounding energy swarmed over. Moreover, his devouring power was so powerful that even Kun Ling could not stop him. Buzz buzz. The natural energy rapidly surged towards Lin Dong and entered his body. Then, those energy turned into Yuan power, which circulated within his body. Creak. Seated within the darkness, Kun Ling was trying her best to manipulate her devouring power in an attempt to stop Lin Dong from snatching all the energy. Although her hind rounds did pay off, most of the energy here were still rushing towards Lin Dong. This caused her to involuntarily clench her teeth. It was completely silent within the darkness. However, the both of them were using everything they had to compete for the energy. This matter was also fairly comical. Typically, neither of them would bother about this amount of energy. However, as of now, it was just like water in a desert, a critical resource that one needed. Hence, the both of them were now competing intensely with each other over this little amount of energy. Nonetheless, since there was a limited amount of energy within the darkness, the energy rapidly disappeared as the both of them fought over it. However, most of them were snatched by Lin Dong and used to replenish the energy which had disappeared from his body. You. A lady's bright eyes suddenly widened in the darkness as the energy diminished. Then, she stared angrily at the direction where Lin Dong was located. A thought passed through her mind before silver-white mental energy gathered. Following which, they transformed into countless silver flower petals, before they shot towards Lin Dong from all directions. From the looks of it, she became furious from embarrassment because she lost out to Lin Dong in the competition for the surrounding energy. A glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes when he saw this. However, he did not move. Instead, lightning flashed in front of him before his majestic mental energy formed a lightning barrier. 
After which, those silver-white flower petals were all annihilated when they collided with it. That random attack has likely depleted much of your energy, which you only managed to obtain after much difficulties. Lin Dong smiled as he said. How do you know? Kun Ling stared at Lin Dong's direction and involuntarily asked. However, she quickly stopped and gently bit her red lips when she recalled that Zhu Feng was also around. After all, it was extremely easy for her to expose her own secrets if she asked such questions. All the energy here has been snatched up. Next, it will be determined by who can endure for a longer time. Lin Dong smilingly said. Kun Ling snorted softly. Completely snatched up? I don't think so. Hey! Lin Dong was startled. He was just about to speak up when he detected another stream of devouring power whistling forward. Moreover, it was actually targeting Zhu Feng, who was at a short distance away. It turns out Kun Ling was actually targeting Zhu Feng. Ha, what a smart little lass! Lin Dong quietly rejoiced. Kun Ling was a quick thinker. Since the surrounding energy had been completely snatched up, she decided to directly grab the energy from within Zhu Feng's body. After all, the latter was unable to activate the strength within his body since he did not possess devouring power. In other words, he was a helpless person who was at their mercy. Kun Ling's devouring power rapidly entwined around Zhu Feng. After which, the latter's expression changed drastically. It was most likely because he realized that the energy within his body was diminishing rapidly. What an unlucky old dog! Lin Dong parted his lips into a smile before he said. In that case, let me join in as well. Lin Dong waved his hand after his voice sounded. Devouring power surged forth and transformed into a black hole above Zhu Feng's head. That black hole rotated and it was possible to see vast and mighty Yuan power continuously surging out from within Zhu Feng's body and entering the black hole. This scene was also captured in Kun Ling's eyes. However, a tinge of shock flashed across her eyes when she realized that her devouring power seemed to be involuntarily attracted to Lin Dong's devouring power when they met. You two brats are courting death. Zhu Feng cried out furiously while Kun Ling's pretty eyes glimmered. Meanwhile, his face had turned green due to anger. Given his status, even Kun Yuan and First Elder Zhu Li did not dare to act disrespectfully towards him. However, these two young fellows had directly attacked him. Moreover, they were using an extremely humiliating method by forcefully snatching the Yuan power within his body. Humph! Kun Ling snorted softly. Clearly, she did not fear Zhu Feng at all. Lin Dong laughed strangely upon hearing this. However, he did not show any mercy in his attack. Instead, his devouring speed increased. Zhu Feng was extremely furious. However, he was unable to retaliate in this peculiar environment. Hence, all he could do was to sit idly while the Yuan power in his body disappeared. Meanwhile, a pale color rose on his face. I will not let the both of you off. As he was completely helpless, Zhu Feng could only let out an angry roar. His roar spread within the darkness before it disappeared. The Lin Dong duo completely ignored him. They shut their eyes and focused their attention on devouring the Yuan power within Zhu Feng's body in order to replenish the energy, that was rapidly disappearing from their bodies. Amidst the darkness, one could only hear Zhu Feng's angry roars sounding repeatedly. However, this roar became increasingly weak with the passage of time, before it completely disappeared. Lin Dong slowly opened his tightly shut eyes after Zhu Feng's roars stopped. Then, he turned to look at Zhu Feng. Right now, the latter's body seemed to have shrunk. His expression was pale and his aura was extremely feeble. This time around, Zhu Feng was terribly tortured by the two of them. The devouring power lingering around Zhu Feng's body also disappeared stealthily. When Lin Dong felt the brimming energy within his body, he smiled with great satisfaction. After which, he slowly stood up. Then, with an unfriendly expression, he slowly walked towards Zhu Feng. Little fellow, what are you planning to do? 
Zhu Feng let out a stern cry when he saw Lin Dong walking over. What am I planning to do? Of course, I am going to kill you. Lin Dong smilingly said while murderous intent gathered in his eyes. Zhu Feng was not a forgiving individual and he would definitely hold a grudge over what Lin Dong did to him today. Hence, if he did not get rid of this problem here, Lin Dong would be in deep trouble once Zhu Feng left the shattered space and regained his reincarnation stage strength. Moreover, Lin Dong was someone who did not like to leave potential threats behind. Zhu Feng clenched his hands upon hearing this. Both his eyes were icy cold as he stared at Lin Dong, who was walking towards him. Lin Dong frowned when he saw Zhu Feng acting in this manner. He clenched his hand before his lightning emperor scepter appeared. However, a delicate figure blocked him just as he was about to attack. What are you doing? Lin Dong looked at the silver-haired beauty with a graceful figure, who was standing in front of him. Then, he frowned slightly and asked in a faint voice. Are you really stupid or are you just pretending to be? Do you really think that it is so easy to kill someone who has stepped into the reincarnation stage? Kun Ling glanced at Lin Dong before she said indifferently. What should we do then? Lin Dong lifted his brows. Were they not going to beat Zhu Feng while he was down? You can attack if you want. Let's see if you can survive his all-out retaliation. Kun Ling turned around and left. Her silver long hair drifted across Lin Dong before a fragrant scent entered his nostrils. Lin Dong knitted his brow, before he relaxed the grip over his lightning emperor scepter. However, seated in front of him, Zhu Feng shut his eyes while a vein was pulsing on his pale face. That lass is right. It is not so easy to kill a reincarnation stage expert. If you really push him to the brink, his retaliation just before death would most likely kill you. Yan's voice sounded. That old dog got lucky. Lin Dong could only curl his lips upon hearing Yan's words. Then, he let out a cold snort in his heart. After which, he turned around and headed towards the deepest part of the darkness. Currently, Zhu Feng had already lost all of his strength and no longer had the ability to compete with them for the devouring master's inheritance. Lin Dong quickened his pace. However, after taking a couple of steps, his body collided onto a soft body. This caused him to be momentarily stunned. However, even before he could speak, he felt that delicate figure which he was leaning on, quickly moving away. What are you doing? Kun Ling's furious voice spread in the darkness. Lin Dong rubbed his nose in embarrassment. He secretly thought to himself, what can I possibly do if I can't see anything in here? Kun Ling gradually suppressed her anger after she realized that Lin Dong did not reply. She hesitated for a moment before suddenly asking, can I ask you something? Lin Dong shrugged his shoulders while his eyes stared sharply at the darkness in front. After which, his voice slowly sounded. Are you going to ask why I possess devouring power? What a coincidence. I also wish to ask you the same question. Chapter 1173, Divine Item Treasury Lin Dong's voice spread in the darkness. Although he was unable to see clearly, he could feel the delicate body in front of him tremble slightly. Will you tell me why there is devouring power in your body? Lin Dong smiled towards the darkness and asked. Kun Ling was silent. Evidently, she did not wish to reply Lin Dong's question. Although you possess devouring power, it does not appear to be as pure as the devouring power in my body. Lin Dong muttered to himself. After coming into contact with Kun Ling's devouring power earlier, Lin Dong discovered that although the latter's devouring power possessed the ability to devour, its purity was inferior to his own. Nonsense. Kun Ling's cold voice clearly sounded within the darkness. Her voice was filled with an unwillingness to admit defeat. Ha, we'll treat it as nonsense if you say so. Lin Dong smiled and said. He could not be bothered to argue with her over this. Since Kun Ling was unwilling to disclose the source of her devouring power, Lin Dong also chose not to pursue the matter. He lifted his foot and directly headed towards the depths of the darkness. 
Kun Ling gently bit her red lips as she listened to Lin Dong's gradually distant footsteps. She hesitated for a moment, before gritting her teeth and quickly followed. The darkness here appeared to be never-ending. Moreover, Lin Dong could feel the energy within his body disappear a little at a time as he walked. Although he could somewhat delay this by activating the devouring ancestral symbol, the resistance it provided diminished as he headed deeper into the darkness. Lin Dong was unaware of how long he had walked within the darkness. He could hear somewhat hurried pants from behind him. It belonged to Kun Ling. The strength within her body seemed to have been completely devoured. However, this lady was extremely stubborn. She clenched her teeth and continued to follow Lin Dong. Bang! However, such determination clearly did not last for long before a moan sounded. After which, the lady behind powerlessly fell to the ground. Lin Dong's footsteps paused when he heard this sound and he glanced indifferently at the darkness behind. Some gleaming thing seemed to have dripped down in the darkness. Lin Dong stood on where he was. Although the entire place was darkness, he could vaguely feel Kun Ling struggling to climb to her feet. However, this appeared to be futile. Instead, it caused this perfectly fine beauty to turn into such a miserable state. The rate at which the gleaming thing fell in the darkness became even greater as if sensing her own helplessness. Lin Dong ultimately curled his lips. After which, he turned around and walked back the way he had come from. He was unaware of why he did this. Being soft-hearted was not something that he normally did. However, he felt that he could not simply abandon her for some unknown reason. It was possible for him to hear a faint sobbing sound when he approached. The darkness here seemed to have caused the originally cold and elegant Kun Ling to become a little weaker. Don't foolishly come here if you don't have the ability to do so. Lin Dong stood in the darkness and said in a helpless manner. You walk your path and I will walk mine. Kun Ling was unyielding and her voice suddenly became icy. Nevertheless, this voice contained a slight tremble. Give your hand to me. Lin Dong said. The figure within the darkness seemed to stiffen. Her stubborn voice soon sounded. I can walk on my own. Quickly. Lin Dong frowned and said in a low voice. Kun Ling's delicate figure involuntarily trembled upon hearing his words. For some unknown reason, she was unable to put up any resistance. It was as though the person in front of her had become her master. Kun Ling was startled when this feeling appeared. She quickly seemed to have realized something, is this because of devouring power? Why is it like this? Kun Ling subconsciously extended her delicate hand while she was feeling startled and gently grasped Lin Dong's palm. The warmth transmitted from the latter's hand caused her body to tremble slightly and the furious python-like devouring power within her body seemed to quieten a little. A feeling of reliance was emitted from the devouring power. This feeling seeped deep into Kun Ling's heart, causing her pretty face to reveal an alluring flush within the darkness. Lin Dong was unaware of these fluctuations within Kun Ling's heart. He grabbed the soft jade-like hand and bent his body slightly. After which, he carried the delicate and soft figure amidst a low exclamation. Next, he turned around and slowly headed towards the depths of the darkness. Many strong individuals hovered in front of the devouring divine palace. All of them anxiously watched the black palace. However, the stone doors were still tightly shut and there were no signs of any activity. The sky-devouring corpse held a long black blade and stood in front of the stone door without moving. However, no one dared to simply barge in after witnessing the ruthlessness of this thing. Such a wait continued for half a day. Finally, someone began to feel impatient. After which, a couple of figures exchanged some whispers before turning around to leave. It was likely that they were planning to head somewhere else to see if there were any other treasures. Ah! However, an evil black light curtain suddenly swept out from the void before this group could fly 10,000 feet. They let out a miserable cry upon contact with the black light. In the short span of several breaths, not even their corpse remained. What happened? This sudden miserable cries immediately broke the silence of this place. 
many powerful individuals in front of the devouring divine palace hurriedly turned their bodies. After which, they were shocked to find an evil black chi billowing over from the horizon. The entire place instantly turned to dusk while gloomy and cold wild winds whistled continuously. What is going on? Everyone's expression changed drastically upon witnessing this strange occurrence. This ripple. First Elder Zhu Li hurriedly got up. His expression was slightly alarmed as he gazed upon the black chi that was sweeping over. Both of his hands suddenly clenched tightly. It's the Yumo. What? The pupils of Lu Qing, Little Martin, and the others by the side shrunk upon hearing this. An evil demonic aura spread across the sky. Finally, it enveloped the entire place. Only the area within 10,000 feet of the devouring divine palace was not touched. The demonic aura churned. One could see a black ghost-like figure slowly surface within the clouds. He looked at the many top experts gathered in front of the devouring divine palace and involuntarily smiled. So everyone is actually here. This saves me quite a lot of effort. Hunf, so it is actually you dirty evil things. You people are like rats hiding in the darkness of this world, yet, you actually dare to show yourselves. The expression of First Elder Kun Yuan suddenly became dark and chilly upon seeing this scene as he spoke in a stern voice. Ha ha, us Yumo have been hiding because we have important matters to attend to. How can you ignorant fools possibly understand this? If it was not because of symbol ancestor back then, this plane of yours would have already fallen into the hands of us Yumo. The black shadow loudly laughed towards the sky and replied. Let's not waste our breath with him. Everyone, attack together and kill this devil. First Elder Zhu Li said in an a deep voice. Everyone present had extraordinary strength and were also extremely experienced. All of them had at least heard a little about these Yumo. These things were the common enemy of all living creatures on this plane. Kill me? I'm afraid that you will not be able to do so today. The black figure smiled faintly. Soon after, he waved his sleeve. Black clouds churned and four figures slowly appeared. Four incomparably strong auras swept across the area when they appeared. Yumo King Paleness surfaced on the faces of First Elder Zhu Li and the others when they saw the four figures. All four were Yumo kings. In other words, they were four reincarnation stage top experts. Adding in the Yumo who had yet to reveal his strength, this lineup was enough to terrify them. Is this where the devouring master died? Haha, <laughs> what a pity. An old adversary had actually fallen to such a state. I'm afraid that your inheritance will not be passed down in this world. The black figure atop the black clouds looked at the devouring divine palace on the lone peak as a cruel expression flashed on his face. Shah Shah. Muffled footsteps sounded within the darkness. Lin Dong involuntarily curled the corner of his lips. He did not know how long he had walked within this darkness. He could only feel that the strength within his body seemed to have completely disappeared. His footsteps were now as heavy as rocks. Perspiration dripped down along his face from his forehead and his breathing had also become a lot heavier. You. The soft figure in his embrace seemed to move gently. She could similarly feel that Lin Dong was exhausted as she softly said, Put me down. Why are you saying so much nonsense? Lin Dong frowned. You. Kun Ling was angered. She enjoyed an extremely high status within the Kunpeng tribe. Adding her beauty into the mix, no one dared to speak to her in such a matter before. However, she was currently unable to feel much fury. This caused her to involuntarily feel bitter in her heart. This ridiculous devouring power was really going to be the death of her. Lin Dong walked for some distance while carrying her. Finally, the energy within him completely disappeared. His body became feeble and violently collapsed onto the ground. However, the moment his body was about land, he suddenly twisted his body and his back slammed onto the ground. The low thud caused his brows to tightly furrow. Kun Ling also felt her body jerk. However, she did not feel any pain from landing on the ground. 
she was momentarily startled before she quickly understood the situation and promptly pulled Lin Dong's clothes as she asked in a low voice, Are you all right? It's fine, this won't kill me. Lin Dong heavily panted. Soon after, he helplessly lay on the ground and said, There is no other choice. It appears that we cannot leave. The devouring master has made such a strange test for no reason. How baffling! You are really far too naive if you believe that it is so easy to obtain the inheritance of the devouring master. Kun Ling said. That's right. Had I known earlier, I would have simply ignored you and left you behind. Lin Dong curled his lips and said. Kun Ling snorted coldly before becoming quiet. Lin Dong was helpless and could not be bothered with her. He was just about to shut his eyes and recuperate when a faint laughter was suddenly emitted from within the darkness. If you had really ignored her and left her behind, I'm afraid that it will be extremely difficult for you to obtain this inheritance. This sudden voice stunned Lin Dong. Soon after, he abruptly lifted his head, only to find that light had appeared at the deepest part of the darkness. A figure sat there while the light wrapped around his body. If one was to look carefully, one would discover that there was not even the slightest light present within an inch of this figure. From a distance, he appeared just like the most mysterious black hole within the starry universe. Devouring everything. It was, the Devouring Master. Chapter 1174, Endless Divine Prison Light suddenly spread within the darkness, expelling the darkness a little at a time. Meanwhile, there was a tall figure seated quietly in the middle of that light. He appeared like a rock and it seemed like he had been sitting there since the ancient times. Lin Dong was startled as he stared at the figure, who had surfaced from within the darkness. He was completely bewildered. Meanwhile, beside him, Kun Ling was also staring at her front with shock in her pretty eyes. Devouring. Master. Lin Dong gulped in a violent fashion as he muttered with some disbelief. As if he heard his voice, that figure within the light slowly lifted his head. Following which, a handsome face was revealed under the light. Meanwhile, there was a mysterious smile on his warm jade-like face. His black pupils were exceptionally deep and there was an overbearing aura between his brows. What an interesting man! The new owner of the devouring ancestral symbol. After so many years, you have finally arrived. His eyes were indifferent as he looked at Lin Dong. After which, he smiled and said. Devouring ancestral symbol. Kun Ling was immediately startled upon hearing these words. Then, she stared at Lin Dong with shock in her eyes. This fellow actually possessed the devouring ancestral symbol. It's no wonder. Elder, since we have met you. I believe that we should have successfully passed the test, am I right? The shock in Lin Dong's heart began to scatter. After which, he smiled at the devouring master and asked. The devouring master smiled as he looked at Lin Dong. Promptly, he gently lifted his brows before he said, I am able to detect many familiar scents on your body. Let's see. Flame master, chaos master, darkness master, and... The devouring master's pupils suddenly hardened while he was staring at Lin Dong. His eyes, which hardly held any emotions, finally had some fluctuations. Then, he softly sighed and it seemed as though he was relieved of a great burden when he did so. Ice Master! Did she succeed? She did not let our master down, who fought to the death to protect her. Ugh, I still lose out to her. Lin Dong gently clenched his hand. The devouring master was indeed extraordinary. Even though this was not his true form, he was still able to immediately tell which powerful auras Lin Dong had came into contact with. You should have directly or indirectly came into contact with the four of them. I am able to tell by the scent right away. The devouring master laughed. Soon after, he said in a faint voice, Yan, it has been tens of thousands of years since we last met. Aren't you coming out to meet an old friend? A warm light shot out from within Lin Dong's body after the voice of the devouring master sounded. After which, it turned into a light figure. Meanwhile, 
there was a complicated expression in his eyes, I didn't expect that the next time we met, the once talented and dazzling genius had become like this. Did I have any other choice at that time? The devouring master softly said. Yan was quiet. At that time, all eight masters were severely injured. Meanwhile, his owner had used his remaining strength to protect the Ice Master through her reincarnation. Hence, the remaining seven masters were all powerless. If the Devouring Master did not sacrifice himself, it was likely that at least half of the seven masters would have died. He is the new owner of the Ancestor Stone. Yan did not continue on with this topic. Instead, he looked at Lin Dong and said. Owner. The eyes of the Devouring Master flashed. Meanwhile, there was a playful tinge in his voice. Lin Dong did not say anything. Back in the Devil Suppressing Prison, the Darkness Master had a huge reaction when she heard this. Therefore, Lin Dong clearly knew what his status as the owner of the Ancestor Stone represented. Little fellow, you are really interesting. However, it is still too early to decide if you are truly worthy of being the Ancestor Stone's owner. The Devouring Master shook his head and said. Not only does he possess the Devouring Ancestral Symbol, he also possess the Thunderbolt Ancestral Symbol. Yan said. I realized that as well. The Devouring Master nodded. Then, he turned to look at Yan before he slowly said, However, it still isn't enough. Yan was quiet for a moment. After which, he said, You should be aware that the war back then has not ended. There are still Yumo hiding in this world and no one knows how much strength they possess. Moreover, all of you do not know this, but my owner left me with one final instruction before incinerating his reincarnation. Oh! The devouring master lifted his head and looked at Yan. Master said that if it was possible, to look for another symbol ancestor. Isn't that going to be Junior Marshall's sister? Although I do not wish to admit it, she is indeed much stronger than me. Hence, the person who stands the highest chance of attaining master's cultivation level should be Junior Marshall's sister. The devouring master said in a faint voice. Indeed, the Ice Master is the ideal candidate and even my master thought so. However, it is always good to have another candidate, don't you agree? Yan nodded and replied. Haha, I am already a dead person and it is pointless trying to convince me. You should convince the seven of them instead. However, given my understanding of them, asking them to trust him instead of Junior Marshall's sister is likely impossible. The devouring master laughed. Yan laughed bitterly. It was indeed somewhat impossible. Is Junior Marshall's sister doing well? The devouring master suddenly looked at Lin Dong. He could detect the aura of the Ice Master from his body. Therefore, the two of them must have interacted for a long period of time. Lin Dong was quiet for a moment. Finally, he sighed softly, I am only acquainted with Ying Huan Huan and not the Ice Master. When he mentioned this point, his mind suddenly flashed back to the day when he was about to die. As he reminisced over that beautiful figure who had penetrated through space and entered deep within his mind, his heart ached slightly when he thought of her blue long hair. Yan laughed and said, he is acquainted with the Ice Master after her reincarnation. The Devouring Master was startled. He looked at Yan's and Lin Dong's expression before he managed to uncover some clues. After which, he fondled his chin and spoke solemnly, it is indeed difficult to handle Junior Marshall's sister. In the past, I was powerful and handsome, but she did not even take a glance at me. Lin Dong, I have high expectations for you. Good luck. Conquer that ice fortress. Lin Dong was speechless as he looked at the devouring master, who seemed to have suddenly changed into a different person. He involuntarily smiled bitterly and shook his head. Beside him, Kun Ling glanced at Lin Dong, who seemed to be in a bad mood. Then, her red lips curled slightly. However, she did not say anything. All she did, was to turn her pretty head to one side. Little girl, the devouring master suddenly turned towards Kun Ling before he smiled. Meanwhile, the expression in his eyes became much gentler, 
you are someone from the Kunpeng tribe, am I right? Kun Ling from the Kunpeng tribe greets Elder. Kun Ling hurriedly replied in a respectful manner after hearing this. How is Kun Ching Er related to you? The devouring master asked. Some warmth rose on his handsome face when he mentioned this name. She is my ancestor. The devouring master nodded. He sighed and said, In that case, you should know who I am, am I right? You, you are the husband of my ancestor. Kun Ling's face reddened as she respectfully replied. Standing beside her, Lin Dong was startled. Kun Ling actually had such a relationship with the Devouring Master. It's no wonder the Devouring Master said that he could forget about obtaining his inheritance if he had abandoned Kun Ling and left her behind. However, since the Devouring Master was married to that Kun Ching Er, why was it that he had such a murky relationship with that bewitching Nine-Tail Fox? It seems like this fellow was quite a player. This girl can be considered as the direct descendant of the Devouring Master. Otherwise, it is impossible for her to possess devouring power. Beside him, Yan softly said. His descendants can actually enjoy such blessings. Lin Dong was a little startled. Since the devouring master possessed the devouring ancestral symbol, it was justifiable for him to possess devouring power. However, how was it possible for his descendants to enjoy it as well? Once your cultivation reach the level of the Devouring Master and you achieve a perfect merger with the Devouring Ancestral Symbol, you will naturally possess such abilities as well. However, this is also an extremely rare occurrence. In fact, over the last tens of thousands of years, only a handful of his descendants possessed Devouring Power. Yan explained. Lin Dong sighed in relief after hearing this. So, there was only a small possibility. Things were still all right in that case. Otherwise, wouldn't it be as though everyone in the Kunpeng tribe was in possession of a devouring ancestral symbol? Little fellow, don't tell me that you believe that I said those words previously merely because Kun Ling is my descendant. The devouring master turned his attention and asked, while Lin Dong was softly speaking to Yan. Lin Dong coughed dryly. He hurriedly laughed, what is Elder saying? How can I abandon Lady Kun Ling in a place like this? Is that so? Kun Ling rolled her eyes. Previously, this fellow even wanted to make an attempt on Zhu Feng's life. Hence, he was clearly no kind-hearted individual. Hey, I helped you out previously. Can you please not add insult to injury? Lin Dong glared at Kun Ling and said. Kun Ling took a step back when she saw Lin Dong's expression. However, she quickly recovered before she violently stomped her foot. Cough. Lin Dong, you should not bully Ling Er. Although my descendants are able to gain some devouring power because of me, it is also precisely because of this that they will be suppressed when standing in front of the owner of the devouring ancestral symbol. The devouring master coughed softly and said. Lin Dong was stunned. He quickly turned to look at Kun Ling who had grown angry because of embarrassment. Only then, did he come to a sudden comprehension. It's no wonder this Ice Queen, who had only looked at him in an icy and indifferent manner on the outside, was suppressed by him upon entering this place. However, in that case, it was truly difficult to tell if it was a blessing or a curse for them to be in possession of devouring power. It is true that Linger is my descendant, but that is only part of the reason. The devouring master smiled faintly and said, Most of my inheritance is regarding my understanding of reincarnation. Given your strength, if you accept it on your own, you will likely be stuck in reincarnation and fail to break free. Therefore, you will need someone to protect you while receiving my inheritance. Protect. Lin Dong was startled as he looked at Kun Ling. Ling Er is my descendant and she possess my bloodline. Therefore, she can remain conscious during the inheritance. A playful tinge surfaced on the corner of the devouring master's mouth. He looked at the stunned Lin Dong and said, Linger's protection is extremely critical if you wish to obtain my inheritance. Now, do you finally understand? Lin Dong laughed dryly. After which, he glanced at Kun Ling, only to see her rolling her eyes. 
Immediately, he began to fret. Since this lady was upset at him, would she be willing to protect him? Chapter 1175, Tempering Mental Energy This I think that I should be able to handle it. When Lin Dong saw Kun Ling turning her head away, he laughed dryly before he braced himself and said. Whether you can survive or not, that is something that I know better than you. The devouring master smiled faintly and said, unless there is a more than 50% chance of success, I do not want to put my succession at risk. With someone protecting me, there is only a 50% chance of success. Lin Dong felt some cold sweat appearing on his forehead. Wasn't the chance of success a little too low? Do you think that my inheritance will be the run-of-the-mill variety? The devouring master lifted his brows while disapproval seeped out from him. Even in the ancient times, he was only weaker than the symbol ancestor and the ice master. Moreover, it was nigh impossible to count the number of Yumo that perished in his hands. Therefore, his accomplishments were nearly peerless. Lin Dong laughed bitterly and became quiet. Although he really wanted to obtain the devouring master's inheritance, he refused to beg Kun Ling to protect him. After all, he knew that he had done everything that he ought to do for her. If the latter was still unwilling to help him, he would not resort to begging her. Beside him, when Kun Ling saw that Lin Dong had descended into silence, as well as the stubborn look on his face, she suddenly recalled the warm hand that extended from within the darkness previously, as well as the human flesh cushioning her body when she fell on the ground. Subsequently, the anger on her face slowly disappeared. Soon after, her lips moved before a faint voice was emitted, Ancestor, I am willing, to protect him just this once. Oh? You are willing to? The devouring master looked at Kun Ling with some interest and smilingly said. Although he is somewhat repulsive, Kun Ling clearly distinguishes between friend and foe. He has helped me previously and I shall return the favor. Kun Ling's pretty face reddened as she nodded and said. Lin Dong was a little surprised. He lifted his head to glance at Kun Ling. After which, he cupped his hands together and said, I will definitely remember Miss Kun Ling's favor. If you require my assistance in the future, I will definitely do my best to assist you. I'll be fine as long as you don't use the devouring ancestral symbol to bully me. Kun Ling turned her head away and said. Lin Dong nodded. Then, he solemnly said, Miss Linger, you can be rest assured that I will stay away from you in the future. Hence, this will prevent me from negatively affecting you. Lin Dong had just finished speaking when he suddenly saw Kun Ling frowning and turning her head. Clenching her hands, she proceeded to glare at him. Her faint anger caused Lin Dong to be at a loss. The devouring master looked at the both of them with a smile, but he did not speak up. He merely waved his hand before he said, In that case, I shall leave my inheritance to the both of you. Thank you elder. Lin Dong rejoiced. He cupped his hands together and said. The devouring master shook his head and said in a faint voice. However, before handing over my inheritance, I would like to borrow your body for a while. Borrow my body? Lin Dong was stunned. He did not understand what the devouring master was implying. Some insolent creatures have entered this realm. I will have to go and do some cleaning up. However, I will need to borrow your body in order to unleash my powers. The devouring master said. Insolent creatures. A glint flashed across Lin Dong's eyes before he exclaimed, Yumo. Haha, <laughs> four Yumo kings and someone that I defeated before. The devouring master laughed. His tone was calm and it looked as though he was talking about a couple of insignificant ants. Four Yumo kings. Though the devouring master could remain calm, Lin Dong's expression underwent a sudden and drastic change. A Yumo king was equivalent to a top-tier reincarnation stage expert. Moreover, four of them were actually dispatched this time around. Hence, this lineup was worthy of the word, terrifying. After all, only one Yumo king appeared back at the Flame Divine Hall. I thought that a reincarnation stage expert cannot enter this shattered space. Beside him, 
Kun Ling voiced her doubts. That is generally the case. However, there are always loopholes. Since Zhu Feng is able to suppress his strength and enter this space, even less need to be said for those mysterious Yumo. The devouring master said. Oh no, little Martin and the rest are still outside. Lin Dong had an anxious expression. He was worried about what would happen to little Martin and the rest, after the Yumo invaded this realm. Relax. With me around, the Yumo won't be able to act as they please. This is true even though I am already dead. The devouring master said faintly. However, his voice contained the pride and overbearing aura that belonged to an expert, who once towered over the world. In that case, please help us elder. Lin Dong said in a deep voice. The devouring master nodded gently. His body subsequently transformed into a black ray of light before it shot towards Lin Dong's chest. Immediately, the latter's body stiffened before an indescribable monstrous aura, that once belonged to an overlord of the world, slowly awakened. The aura swept across the sky before the devouring master's low and deep voice was emitted from within Lin Dong's body. Lin Dong. Next. I will allow you to witness the true strength of the devouring ancestral symbol. Remember to pay attention. Dense demonic clouds swept over and occupied this entire realm. Only the area within a 10,000 feet radius of the lone mountain peak, had yet to be invaded by the sea of demonic aura. First Elder Zhu Li, Lu Qing, Little Martin and many powerful individuals currently had gloomy expressions as they stared at the scene in front of them. Meanwhile their bodies continuously retreated. In fact, even the Yuan power circulation within their bodies had slowed down owing to the pressure from the four terrifying auras up in the demonic clouds. Four Yumo kings. This was not something that they could deal with. Let's get rid of them first. After that, we will destroy the devouring divine palace. In the middle of the demonic clouds, a black figure was seated on a throne made up of black clouds. When he looked down and saw the many powerful individuals below, cold indifference filled his eyes. Subsequently, he waved his hand before his indifferent voice spread. The four Yumo kings nodded upon hearing this. Without further ado, they flipped one finger each, before four demonic lights directly shot out from their fingertips. Swoosh! Demonic lights whistled and penetrated the empty space almost instantly. After which, Dozens of powerful individuals didn't even have the time to dodge, before their bodies exploded into a cluster of bloody fog with a loud bang. In fact, even their demonic spirits failed to escape in time as they were destroyed immediately. Bastards! First Elder Julie and the rest clenched their fists upon seeing this. A brutal glint flashed across the four Yumo King's eyes. With a chuckle, they flung their sleeves before another four demonic lights rushed forward immediately. Lu Qing, Kun Yuan, Mu Di, let's fight back. First Elder Zhu Li clenched his teeth and cried out loud upon seeing this. As of now, they were the only ones here who were still barely able to oppose the four Yumo kings. Meanwhile, the rest would simply perish upon contact. When the three of them heard this, Lu Qing and Kun Yuan quickly nodded without hesitation. On the other hand, Mu Di hesitated for a moment. However, he eventually clenched his teeth and nodded. After all, if they were to fight amongst themselves now, they would most likely end up dead. The four of them rushed forward almost simultaneously. Following which, vast and mighty Yuan power surged. Meanwhile, the scent of reincarnation spread from within their Yuan power. Clearly, the four of them had unleashed their strengths to their limits. The demonic lights penetrated the sky. In the next instant, they exploded right in front of the four of them. After which, terrifying demonic energy shock waves continuously swept forth. Immediately, the space shattered before the four of them shot backwards in a miserable fashion. Julie and the other three forcefully stabilized their bodies. Meanwhile, groans were emitted from their throats while blood churned within their bodies. Subsequently, a bitter expression appeared on their faces. Was this the gap between them and genuine reincarnation stage experts? Haha, <laughs> the four of you have barely touched reincarnation. 
Yet, you guys actually dare to fight against the four of us? You guys are truly asking for it. The four Yumo kings laughed heartily towards the sky. Meanwhile, their laughters were filled with disdain. In the next instant, a brutal glint flashed across their eyes. After which, the churning demonic clouds immediately transformed into four ten thousand feet large demonic palms, that came smashing towards the lone mountain peak from all directions. Those four demonic palms actually occupied the entire sky. When everyone lifted their heads, all they could see were four demonic palms headed their way. Moreover, that frightening strength even caused them to lose the desire to put up a resistance. Everyone, let's attack together. Even though First Elder Julie and the other three had pale expressions, they were not ordinary individuals. Immediately, all of them cried out explosively. Following which, Yuan Power whistled out from within their bodies and transformed into a light curtain, which covered the sky above the mountain peak. Swoosh swoosh. The remaining powerful individuals were also awakened by their cries. Driven to desperation, a ruthlessness surged from within them. After which, furious cries sounded before thousands of majestic Yuan Power whistled forward and poured into the light curtain in the sky. Buzz buzz. After such a vast amount of Yuan power flowed in, the light curtain also began to gradually solidify. Meanwhile, the colors undulated on it were extremely brilliant and dazzling. Bang! The demonic palms swiftly descended and ruthlessly slammed against the solid light curtain. Resplendent light was emitted immediately and it looked as though a couple of suns had risen simultaneously. Waves of frightening energy ripples swept out in a crazy fashion. Although the light curtain looked fragile, it was nonetheless forged from the Yuan power of thousands of powerful individuals. Hence, the four Yumo King's attacks were unable to break it immediately. Humph! Seated in the sky, the black figure seated on the demonic cloud throne released a cold snort. Immediately, the expressions of the four Yumo Kings became quite ugly. You guys can't even handle a bunch of ants. How disappointing! The black figure said in a cold voice before standing up. Then, he gently stomped his foot. Immediately, the demonic clouds that permeated the sky began to gather in front of him in a crazy fashion. Within a short period of time, they transformed into a palm-sized black devil bead. Go! That black figure chuckled before he flicked his finger. Immediately, that black devil bead tore through the sky before it finally collided gently against the light curtain. Bang! The two of them only made contact for an extremely brief moment. After which, the light barrier, which was forged by gathering the Yuan power from thousands of individuals, was actually blown apart. After which, countless people below immediately vomited a mouthful of blood. Could it be that all of us are fated to die right here? First Elder Julie's group looked at the Black Devil Bead, which continued to fly towards them with the same speed even after penetrating the light barrier. Meanwhile, they could sense an annihilation-like energy on it. That energy caused even their hearts to shudder. Ugh! A soft sigh of desperation sounded in everyone's hearts. Just as all of them shut their eyes and prepared to die, they suddenly saw a black light erupting from the devouring Divine Palace like a black lightning. A clear laughter resounded across this part of the world after that black light appeared. Haha, <laughs> trying to act as you please in front of my devouring divine palace. Tenth Seat King, since when did a loser like you, who only knows how to flee upon seeing me, gain the courage? <laughs>